Hello everyone, welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents Crochet from the Beginning. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about half double crochet two together. That's how we do a decrease when we're doing a half double crochet. And I have started off today by doing 12 half double crochets into a foundation chain. There are 12 stitches there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I've turned my work. Actually, we should chain one and turn the work here. Sorry if I'm awkward about this. My hands are in a really awkward position for me to film this. So just bear with this beginner crocheter here. Now, to do a half double crochet, of course, you're going to yarn over go into the stitch, that's that V at the top when you've already got that second row, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. We'll do it again, just as sort of a refresher. Yarn over, pull, go through that stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three that are on your hook. But if it's time to decrease, or crochet two half double crochets together. It's just a little bit different. It's not difficult, it's just something to remember that's just a smidge different. You start off like normal, you yarn over, go through that stitch, pull up a loop, okay? Now we have three on the hook, but this is where it gets a little bit different. We're going to yarn over, pull through the first two, on the hook, leaving two loops on the hook. Then we're going to go into the next stitch. Put your hook through, pull up a loop, back to having three on the hook, and pull through all three. We have just crocheted two together. Now I'm gonna go through the rest of the throw, boy, the rest of this row with just half double crochets. So you can see that we will have one less stitch, one fewer stitch, one less stitch than we had when we started off. And here I'm just doing plain old half double crochets. I'm just doing a yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three on my hook. And I'm doing that all the way across to the end of our little row. Now remember, we started off this little row with 12 stitches. At the end, we're gonna have 11 because we crocheted two together. Okay, almost there. And I think I'm using a hook size that's too small for this yarn, not by design, but just because it's what I grabbed off my table. So yeah. The stitches are a little bit tight. Okay, here's our final stitch. Pull up, yarn over, pull through all three, sorry, all three on the hook. Now, now let's count our stitches. Let me pull that up so that I don't lose it, because yeah, I'm likely to pull it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven where we had 12 before because we crocheted two together right here. Now this is very important for decreasing, which there are a lot of projects you have to decrease in. Let's snug this back up. I'm going to chain one and turn my work. That chain one does not count as anything. Yarn over, go in. We're just doing half double crochets again for a couple here. We're going to do it again, yarn over, Go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through all three. Let's crochet two together right here, okay? We're going to yarn over, go into the stitch just like normal, pull up a loop, but only go through the first two on our hook, leaving two loops. Then we're going to go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, now we have three, just as if we've done a regular half double crochet, and pull through all three loops on the hook. We have decreased another stitch. 
we're going to do another regular old standard half double crochet. Okay, and another. And just for giggles, why don't we do another decrease? Okay, yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops on your look, go into that next stitch, pull up a loop, and then finish it off like a regular half double crochet. Yeah, it's shrinking now, y'all, because that's what it does when you decrease stitches. Let's finish out this row and see how many we ended up with. If you've been paying attention to the counting, I'm sure you know. Even though I keep going off screen, my apologies. You know, sometimes this last stitch gets a little weird. It gets even weirder when it's me doing it because, well, I'm weird to start off with. There we go. Pull through all three. See how it's kind of curving up because we've reduced it so much? Yeah. Let's see how many are there now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, we have decreased. Half double crochet, two together, or half, half double crochet decrease. It can be written either way, or of course many other ways. Probably as many ways to write down something as there are to do it, but yeah, that's how I do it. And uh, this particular stitch is pretty important when I make my towel toppers, which will be coming up very, very soon. Thanks for coming by for Crochet from the Beginning. Um, I am Deborah, Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and thank you for joining this beginner crocheter on her YouTube and crochet journey. Bye, y'all.